Hey guys, I am back with another video. Finally, it is Halloween season and you guys know I love a good Halloween season. I hope you guys like my set that I have for the season. I actually spent a little bit more time on it this year. Um, I'm trying to get one look out per week. So hopefully that'll be, I think four to five looks. I think it's five five Fridays in October, but how many ever Fridays there are, I'm gonna be posting a Halloween look every Friday if you guys are interested. I wanted to start with something super simple, um, something that you can just, if you're not into like gory type of things, but you still go into a party and you wanna look a little festive, this is the look that I came up with. It's super, super easy. I love how this look turned out. It's super different, definitely super bold still. Um, which all the looks are pretty much going to be like that because from here on out it's going to be FX, SFX, <laughs> the next four videos or three videos, how many ever it is. Okay. So, but before we hop into the video, make sure you guys are subscribed and turn your notifications on so you do not miss an upload. Also, comment down below what you guys plan on dressing up for Halloween. I want to know. Put it down in the description box. Halloween makes me happy. Don't know why, but don't judge me. But I want to know what you guys plan on just enough for Halloween. I have a list of all the products down in the description box if you guys are interested in checking those out. I will have everything listed down in the description box if I don't show it in the video, which I'm pretty sure that I didn't. But I will have pictures, you know, throughout the video and I will have everything listed and linked down in the description box. And yeah, let's hop into the So I'm going to be starting off with the Juvia's Place As I Am Concealer in the shade number 11. And I'm just going to be using that to apply my eyelids and to get rid of any discoloration. Next I'm going to go in with the code, or the code, the shade James from the Morphe X James Charles palette and I'm just going to use that as my transition shade. Honestly this whole transition part I probably could have avoided but I wasn't quite sure how I wanted this look to go so I kind of, this is where I started and the final look it actually wasn't really necessary so you can kind of skip over this part but I did it for the sake of the video so I didn't cut it out. Next I'm going to go in with the shade 10% again from the Morphe X James Charles palette and I'm going to use that right underneath again a step that I probably could have left out had I really planned out this look but I left it in the video as well. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Spooky, again from the James Charles X Morphe palette. And I kind of use a blending brush first. I kind of wish I would have applied a black base first, but it's okay. It still ended up working out fine. And then I switched over to like a more packing, denser kind of brush. And I start just packing that on. I wasn't sure how far I was going to bring this black up. Um, so I just started kind of on the outer edge first and then I kind of decided as I went along how far I wanted to bring it up. And since I didn't apply a black base, I kind of had to layer this on about two to three times just because, you know, black, it just starts blending itself out and things like that. So it would have been nice to apply kind of like a sticky base underneath that. So FYI. If you do do this look, definitely apply a black base. Next, I'm going to go in with this orange shade. This is from the Zulu palette from Juvia's Place. It doesn't have a name, um, but I went in and applied that um, to the inner part, inner half of my eye, I guess, so the second half of my eye, and kind of blended it into that black. And then I also decided to start taking it higher up, which is why I said the whole transition thing was kind of unnecessary because I ended up covering it up with the orange and the black. But like I said, I didn't know where this look was actually going at the time I was filming it. 
I just bring that up and then I also will go back in with the shade Spooky and kind of bring that up to match where the orange ends as well. Next, I'm going to go in with this uh, star stamp from Milk Makeup. And I just do like, like four little stamps into the eye look just to, you know, add a little razzle dazzle. And I did apply my lashes offline. These are just some lashes that I got from Wish um, and my liner as well off camera. I'm going to go in with my primer. This is the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. And I use that to apply underneath my foundation. The foundation that I'm using today is the Chuvious Place I Am Magic Foundation in the shade Gabon. You guys know I this 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 foundation is a banger. I love it. It's affordable and it just matches me perfectly. And yes, I do like it better than the shade Burkina. Not that I don't use Burkina, but I feel like Gabon is the perfect match. If you guys have not seen my reviews that I've done on this foundation, I will have them linked in the cards. But this foundation is really bomb. I actually love it. Um, next, I'm going to go in with that same concealer, the number 11 from Julia's Place. And I'm going to use that to highlight. And then I'm going to use the shade number 4 to contour. Next, I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place Setting Powder in the shade Kalahari to set my under eye. I always use a brush with the Juvia's Place concealers or powders because I find when I use like a sponge, it just, I don't know, cakes up too much. So I just use a powder. And then I go in with my NYX Matte Liquid Liner just to kind of touch up the stars, make them a little sharper. Um, I didn't want to press down too hard, so... I just go in and kind of fill in where I felt like, you know, the stamp didn't quite come through. And then I'm going to go in and apply the shade Spooky on my lower lash line. I kind of apply it a lot more than I usually do because I want it to look to be really smoked out. And then I went in with the uh, Knots. Yeah, I went in with that orange shade and applied it on my lower lash line as well. I'm using kind of like a small smudger brush. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Namib from Juvia's Place and set my face with the setting powder and just to kind of blend everything together, contour, highlight, and just set my foundation overall. 
and then I'm gonna go in with the Beautery Bakery Contour, uh, I think it's called the Brownie Bar, and I'm just going to use that to contour my cheeks and my forehead and to set that contour that I laid down earlier. Next I'm going to go on with that um, lighter shade from that palette and just apply like the, like the top part of my nose, bridge of my nose, not all the way down, just kind of where my eyes and nose meet. And then I'm going to go on with the highlight shade from that palette and I'm going to use that as my inner tear duct highlight. And I'm also going to use the same highlight for the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose as well. You guys know I don't really like highlight on my cheeks. That's just my thing. And then I went in with the same orange eyeshadow that I used. And I actually used it for my blush as well. And for my lips, I'm going to go on with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil and Lippy Stick in Bowl Chic. Which they don't make this shade anymore. I didn't realize it before I used it. But you guys can always use whatever black lipstick, black liner that you have and just um, complete the look using that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look um, and I hope you guys try it out. If you do try it out or recreate it, leave, you know, tag me on Instagram at Total Diva Ray. It is on Instagram. I will have all my links to my website, um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all those things down in the description box if you guys are interested in interacting with me off of YouTube, which I highly suggest that you do as well. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, don't forget, comment down below what you guys plan on dressing up for Halloween. Um, if you plan on dressing up for Halloween at all, maybe Halloween's not your thing. If it's not, I'm sorry. I'm going to be here for the next five weeks doing Halloween looks. I will have some other videos um, sprinkled in um, through the month of October as well. So it's not going to be all Halloween looks. I will have some hair tutorials and things like that coming out as well. But every Friday of October, I will be posting a Halloween look. So if you like those, check back on my channel on Fridays. Or just make sure your notifications are turned on so that you're alerted every time I upload a video, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for still supporting and subscribing to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I am trying to get to 20,000 subscribers before the year is in. I know that's a small goal, but let's start small and then we can work our way up. But I want to get to 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Um, and I really want to grow my channel and I plan on trying to be here a lot more often than I have been. I've been kind of being a little bit lazy, slightly depressed, slightly unmotivated, just slightly all over the place. So I think I'm feeling pretty good right now. Um, so I am trying to get some more videos out for you guys. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.